tonight, the wife and daughter of John Jr. Gotti in trouble with the law. They are facing charges tonight. The two women arrested after a brawl at a high school basketball game on Long Island. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan has more. John Jr. Gotti, the former acting boss of the Gambino crime family, leaves arraignment court in Hempstead defending his wife and daughter who were charged with assault and spent the night in jail. They refused to press charges against a lady that assaulted my wife first. It's the only reason why we're here, because they're standing up. According to court papers, Kimberly Gotti and daughter Gianna got into a brawl with a woman here at Locust Valley High School, watching a game versus rival Oyster Bay High. The Gotti son, Joseph, was on the court. When Joe was, was had the ball and was, was going to, to make a, a free throw, this woman was kind of abusing Joe. And, and the mom, rightfully so, it was a mother's instinct, turned around and said, listen, Leave my son alone. Stop bothering him. What, what's wrong with you? She threw a punch and hit my wife in the head. But the alleged victim told police the fight erupted after she asked the Gotti family to stop cursing at students and punches were thrown. At that point, I felt my hair being pulled and felt my wig come off, which was held on by three clips and Velcro. I felt as if my scalp was going to be ripped off and I observed the lady in the gray jacket pulling my hair. She then said Gianna Gotti pulled off her wig and said, I'm 25, and me and my mother already snatched your blank off. The woman filing charges lives here on the exclusive North Shore. Would I be able to speak to you about your assault? And I said my attorney can contact you. You can leave your information. Junior ran the crime family while his father, Teflon Don, was serving a life sentence and died of cancer behind bars in 2002. Gianna Gotti, known as a breakout basketball star, was the leading scorer here at Oyster Bay. She and her mother were released on their own recognizance. On Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. The Gotti women were issued a stay-away order from the alleged victims and are also due back in court March 6th.